Hello guys. So this is another video about symbolism that I'm finding in Doom, the Doom, uh, the Doom games. There, there are many Doom games. And I remember uh, as a very young boy playing or sitting next to my friend that played this game on his computer. And um, not this one, this is the latest. Uh, this is some artist made from the latest game. An artist uh, is, created this animation here. Um, so. I have found some clear symbolism, okay? And, uh, um, you know, uh, I strongly feel that people don't like this kind of video, okay? Because um, it is, I, I, I know what a shill is, you know? I know the red flags. And uh, right now, uh, I I have a strong feeling I am uh, gently stroking on on the red flags. And um, but uh, you know, I don't know. I I, I don't know what to say about that. But um, anyhow. I have some things to show and that is uh, first of all I will comment a bit more on this animation that is very artistic and it has a goat and um, this is actually the last boss of every game in, in, uh, in Doom every game of Doom has this last boss which is a goat the Baphomet goat you you fight it at the end you know and I'm uh, and you know that I have been talking about this scapegoating and that uh, Christ was a scape scapegoat for other people's sins you know and uh, so <clears throat> this is a bit weird, right? Because I'm talking about Christ and uh, all the Christians probably already closed this video down. So that means uh, the audience of this video is extremely uh, limited because, uh, yeah, you know, um, that's just how it is, okay? It's, uh, there's no way to get away from that. Uh, this is a video that people will not like, okay? But anyhow, you can see that this um, this goat is chained uh, as a crucifix. Um, he's chained uh, arms out like that, you know. And um, it is the goat. It is the scapegoat for all scapegoats, you know. Somehow they accumulated the scapegoats, you know. And again, how do you become a scapegoat? Well, uh, you are uh, truthful. If you follow truth, you uh, are hated for it. And that means that um, people will blame you, uh, gaslight you, and they will... Um, uh, they will give you vitriol, vitriol, you know, vitriol, so that you become the Vitruvius, Vitruvian man, you know, you, <laughs> yeah, and um, as you know, this has also to do with um, the awakened pineal gland. This is central to the Christ consciousness, according to uh, many of the spiritual um, groups. Uh, 
And what I find fascinating is that everyone are right. It's so damn fresh, fascinating that everyone are right. And that what I mean is like every religion, every occult, um, uh, how do you say, every secret, uh, um, yeah, you know, all these different strange perspectives still is one perspective together. And that's the amazing thing. And you can see the Philosopher's Stone there um, reacting with, with the, the, the fire, the light, and it is entering there in this animation. This is a symbol of the Philosopher's Stone. You see the circle, you see the triangle, and a circle inside the triangle. That's basically a Philosopher's Stone symbol. So, what I'm going to do now is to is to say something amazing, or it's, 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 it's not amazing, okay? But uh, what I want to tell you is that in Doom, uh, you have this last boss, which is called Icon of Sin, okay? And, yeah, by the way, this is the music. Behemoth sleeps. Cool music, guys. So, this is the last boss in Doom 2 okay and from that point on this was a very long time ago I don't know is it in the 90s maybe I don't remember when the game was released I think it was 1990 something okay so as you can see this is the last boss and how do you kill it because yeah that that's what what the game has to do with well you shoot it into the pineal gland you shoot it into the brain into the pineal gland and and that that's symbolically you know this is big again so uh, wait a moment Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you actually shoot there with a rocket, and uh, I will show it how it is. If you didn't know, um, wait a moment. Huh? So, so let's look at this. So you shoot there inside there, and then it blows up okay so, so that, that that that's the last boss as you can see that's how it's done um, yeah I mean that's that's a really big deal that you have the goat you have the panel and you shoot into it you, you are taught to to attack it, uh, attacks the, attacks the scapegoat, you know. Um, shoot, uh, yeah, killing that scapegoat, you know. And uh, yeah, of course, it shoots into the panel. This is the last game, and again, it's it's the same same theme, you know. Let's look at what, what happens here. Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal. He takes a sword. A sword that is a cross. It is a T-cross. And he shoves it into the panel again to uh, to end it like that. So yeah, you see, this is what it has to do with. 
so inside so back to doom 2 and every every boss from uh, from doom will have this theme of the end boss to 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 shoot there um, towards the panel okay so I just found the funny connection and I, I'll show you I'll show it to you it's a bit funny um, first I'll, so inside they, they hidden they they are hid hiding a person inside there you can actually enter this hole here in the head and find another person inside it this decapitated head you can find inside and this is actually the real boss so you shoot in there with uh, a rocket and and uh, it will the real boss will die like that the real boss is this person here and I will talk a bit about this first I will show it to you Now, I will reveal what the Baphomet is saying later on. But for right now, what we're going to do is use ID Clip to go behind the Baphomet brain. Where we have John Romero's head on a spike. So yeah, the real person, or the, the real lost boss is this person. And here comes the funny part. Um, if you take the Yamantra of John Romero, uh, you get Christopher. I just thought that was funny, right? Uh, but okay, uh, let's let, 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 let's uh, let's think about this now. So Christopher is uh, it means. Um, actually uh, like cross uh, bearer like uh, bearing the cross so i think it's more more general the, the theme of carrying the cross you could see it like that you know um this could just be my manifestation also uh, maybe it is like this right Maybe I'm the last boss. <laughs> no, but I don't know. Um, and that's the thing, like if I, 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 because what actually creates all all the enemies in this last boss is from this panel, from this hole, and the panel comes the enemies out of that hole. I don't know if I can show it to you um, uh, because yeah it's quite let, let, let's see um, wait I have to find it so from this hole in the head it it comes this 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 enemies uh, or the, the, the demons comes from the panel out of it somehow and uh, you know I don't know if I can show it to you wait a moment I'll see if I can find it yeah it, it comes like this uh, wait, packages like squares of um, that becomes these demons um, Damn, I, I can't. Sh well, there it is. Okay, do you see? I'm pointing at it. So let's see if I can capture that. Um, so yeah, something is coming out of this hole here of the panel, and that's the thing. There could be some truth to this, actually, or maybe not. Um, like what I have noticed is that if someone is is um, not being uh, kind to me, 
I will, uh, yeah, there will be this, almost like this curse, you know, on them. And uh, maybe that's why I don't have, I don't have any haters, almost. Um, and I don't really do anything about that, you know, most people have haters and they have these things, but I, I suspect that when I get haters, it will, you know, I, I had, when I had comments activated, I didn't really have haters, you know, maybe it was uh, one there, at, at, um, close to when I stopped having the comments, but people behave in the comment section, generally. Um, but I know from experience that, like, things happen that I have no control over if someone is, is like, bad, you know, like that. And uh, that's, that's interesting that it is like that. It's, it's really interesting, actually. But, um, yeah. So... Um, Yeah, so just wanted to talk some more about Doom and the the how the boss. I mean, it's it's the it's the scapegoat symbolism. You know, the, the scapegoat comes from a Jewish ritual. You know, the the um, and it is the carrier away of the sins. You know, that's the the idea of it and um, um, carrying away of sins you know and at the same time you have all of this with with a with, uh, with a panel and, and and how it is related to to the last to the final boss and the final boss is called um, icon of sin, you know. So um, uh, yeah, there are these connections. It's interesting. Um, I think I'll end this now, and uh, this will be all. See you another time. Bye bye.